Hey there, NFA Money Mamas. Dr. Amanda, the money healer here with the quote of the week to help you up level your money mindset so you can manifest NFA, no fucking around money in your business. This week's quote comes straight out of this book from Jen Sincero. You are a badass at making money. Wow, wow, wow. This book is freaking awesome. If you haven't read it, it's a must read. And what she says on page 20 is greed comes from the same lack mindset as poverty. Greed comes from the same lack mindset as poverty. So on the same side of the lack coin is greed and poverty. So your fear of poverty causes you to push money away. It's a lack mindset. I'm not enough. I'll never be enough. And your your fear of greed, having too much, also comes from a lack mindset. So let's read this page and break it down. Staying broke because you fear it's gross to be rich or that you don't deserve money or that you getting rich somehow prohibits someone else from getting rich too is all rooted in lack. Lack is the state of being you're in when you believe you're in need of, when you believe that what you desire doesn't exist, when, you, when your outlook on life is a glass with a hole in the bottom as opposed to a glass half full. Does anyone here resonate with this? Glass with a hole in the bottom. Do you feel that way? Like you're putting so much in, it's draining out, it's never gonna be enough, you're never gonna be enough, your business is never gonna be enough. That's a lack mindset instead of an abundance mindset where you're believing that the glass is full and overflowing. So in the comments put, I am a glass overflowing full, abundant mindset person, entrepreneur, woman badass, right? That's where we need to start focusing. And we need to let go of this lack mindset. So she says, a lack mindset believes that there's not enough of you to go around. There's not enough to go around. And that you're not good enough or worthy enough to flourish. That the money you spend may never make its way back to you. This is a huge lack mindset. If you invest in your business, what if the money doesn't come back? If you spend money on something you desire, what if the money doesn't come back? What if there's never enough? And I see this all the time with entrepreneurs where they might make tons of money and have tons in the bank and they still are scared to spend it because they have that fear there's never going to be enough. And she says, pigging out on money and things and experiences is also based in fear and lack. Fear of never having enough, fear of not being secure, fear of being unlovable, trying to fill a bottomless hole in your heart. Really get honest with yourself here. Are you trying to fill a bottomless hole in your heart? Are you scared? It's okay. We've all experienced this at points in our different points in our lives in various ways. Some people with money, some people with love, some people with their health, some people, it it shows up, right? So it's a really powerful way to start aligning your money mindset differently and going, where am I in lack and where am I in abundance? And of course, we're focusing on money here today. So next, she says, nothing in excess is healthy. Gluttony is just as devastating as anorexia. You denying yourself your heart's desires is not noble. It's a waste of some damn good desires. And it denies the whole world our own opportunity our only opportunity to bask in more of you. Bask in more of you. Imagine this, you feel really as if you're enough. You feel powerful, you shine your light. Then of course what you desire is awesome and okay because it just amplifies who you are. Money is an amplification tool. It's If you're a greedy jerk, you're gonna become more of a greedy jerk the more money you have. If you're an awesome person on the planet who's making a difference, and you get more money, you're gonna be a more awesome person. So don't let this lack mindset and this money block freak you out and keep you stuck and keep you unconsciously blocked and it will if you don't notice it so so just listen to this and start considering and reflecting where do I have a lack mindset how do I let this take a hold of me and I, and what am I going to shift my focus to to start reframing and reprogramming my money mindset in a new direction so that I can have, feel really good and aligned about making money She goes on to say, if you sometimes feel hopeless because of all the pain and suffering in the world and worry, who the hell am I to get rich when others are starving and being bombed out of their countries and enslaved? And this is important because a lot of people think this like, oh no, I can't be, I shouldn't be rich because other people are suffering. 
She says, know this, one of the best things you can do is get rich. Because of the way our world is structured, money and power are intertwined. So if you want to help make a positive change, money is one of the most effective tools you can use to do it. This is really critical. Money is power because of the way we have the world structured. So if you want to make a huge impact in the world, make more money which means you've got to feel okay about it. Otherwise, you're bringing down the money vibe of the planet and the the feeling good vibe of the planet. So, you know, I know people who make a lot of money and they feel really shitty about it. They don't feel good. They have wealth shame or they, they... they think they're afraid that people are going to think they're greedy jerks or they start to lose their identity because they have all this weird charge around money. And it's okay if that's you just start to play with it and go like, Hey, do I have that? Ask yourself today, write down wealthy people are blank. Money is blank and start digging into your money beliefs so that you can let go of this lack perspective and have an incredible loving relationship with money so that you can make a bigger impact because you having more money, especially women entrepreneurs who have huge hearts, who are creative beings, who are out in the world ambitiously loving what they do and and making differences, we have the ability to raise the frequency of the planet. That's huge. That is That is just mind-blowingly awesome. She, she, I'm going to read one more paragraph. She says, yes, you can donate your time, organize, protest, lobby, alert the masses, post incensed rants on Facebook, but you will be much more effective if you have the energy options and freedom that come with not being in financial struggle, not to mention the resources to spend however you see fit. Instead of complaining and freaking out about the power mongering, greed obsessed fat heads who are perpetrating such harm on the planet and handing them even more power by staying broke because you don't want to be like them, why not focus on getting yourself rich instead so you can make a big difference? Fuck yeah. Ah, preach it. I love this. <laughs> Jen Sincero, you are a badass at making money. So freaking good. So focus on yourself getting rich so you can make a big difference in the world. You can do some really cool stuff with money. Don't let the jerks who give it a bad name ruin it for you. So share in the comments. What are you going to do today? to be inspired, to take action in the direction of being a money master, being a money mindset master so that you can be aligned and powerful and high vibe and attract easier money your way instead of being in fear and doubt and uncertainty and lack and thinking you're not enough. I, deep in my soul, and want you to know deep in your soul that you're enough. You're more than enough. You're amazing. You're awesome. Your desires matter. Your business matters. You matter. And let's get freaking mega rich. I like to think of mega millionaires. Let's be mega millionaires in the world as women entrepreneurs helping other people and making an impact and raising the vibe of the planet. That's really the NFA Money Quest. And it's definitely the NFA Money Mama Quest. So... Let's do it, ladies. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> All right. Leave me a comment. Let me know how I inspired you today. And until next time, NFA Money Making High Fives.